Well, it's time to get back to working on the tow truck, but before we do, uh, there's a few comments that I'd like to clarify. Uh, first of all, let's uh, talk about the song that Mara was trying to think of. Do you remember what the song is now? No, it's from Beetlejuice, that's all I know. From Beetlejuice, yes, that's right. It's Jump in the Line from uh, uh, Harry Belafonte. Uh, shake, 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 Sonora, shake it all the time. Yeah, That's the one? Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right. You want to shake some more? No, not right now. <laughs> A bunch of you have been commenting on why I didn't weld the plate on the inside. Well, it's because we have the off-road design steering box brace on the inside and also because there's a cross member there and some other brackets that kind of get in the way. So it was a whole lot easier to weld it on the outside. Here, I'll show you. So this is the steering box brace uh, from off-road design. Comes all the way down in here. If you look where the steering box is mounted here, you'd see that the plate would have to go behind this cross member and behind this angle brace and behind this uh, off-road design steering box brace or part of the steering box brace kit and that would take a whole lot of work so it's just easier to put the plate on the outside to give it the strength as far as moving the box over just a little bit that's not a big deal we just adjust that out in the drag link and that's the other thing some of you are asking I do already have the crossover steering design. So <clears throat> the drag link, instead of being a push-pull drag link uh, right along the left side wheel here, it's a crossover drag link that goes all the way over to the passenger side over there onto a high steer arm. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a high steer arm to this side so we can put a tie rod above the leaf springs to keep it out of the way from getting hit on the rocks and also our hydraulic cylinder. That's right. We're going to a PSC hydraulic assist steering with this cylinder right here. So that's the upgrades that we're doing. But the first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to get a steering shaft in it and eliminate that rag joint that broke on us. So. To eliminate the rag joint, we're going to go to a steering shaft that has actual U-joints in it. Uh, the most common uh, upgrade for that is with a Jeep XJ steering shaft. Well, I don't have any XJs laying around at home, but I did have a TJ steering column right here. So we're going to see if that steering shaft will work better for us. All right, get the old shaft off to see if we can match it up. Okay, well, lengthwise, that looks about right. This happens to be a steering column from a TJ. Uh, like I said, I don't have any XJs laying around home, uh, but I did have this TJ steering column, so we're going to see if that'll work for us. Take this end off, and I can see this is a splined uh, shaft here, um, which should be the same as our steering box. Let's check that out. So let's see, the flat's over there. So the spline side uh, fits perfect, uh, but the, uh, this side does not. It's too small. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to enlarge this out a little bit. We don't want to just drill it larger because the shaft on the steering column that it goes to has two flat sides and then two semi-rounded sides. So you know that carbide bit that we used? Well, this is aluminum, so we should be able to uh, enlarge the uh, rounded sides quite easily with that carbide bit and uh, get it to fit. Well, we're making it fit. Got to kind of keep that double D shape. I think that'll just about do it. Should we go find out? Look at that. Fits. 
So now what we need to do is this is held on by a pinch bolt. So we need to grind a little bit of a groove in our uh, in our shaft here so we can get that pinch bolt through. But of course before we do that we want to make sure we grind it on the right side. What I mean by that is is the shaft this shaft here is keyed and uh, the steering wheel is keyed so we want to make sure that when we have the steering box center we have the steering wheel right side up. So right now we'll center up the box and then we'll make sure the steering wheel is right side up and then we'll put that together there and see which side of that shaft we have to grind the groove on. Now even though our wheels aren't straight ahead that gets adjusted out in our drag link when we're done. But our steering box is centered. We know this because the PSC steering box comes with a mark uh, on the splines of the pivot shaft and on the box and that's where it's centered. So now we want to make sure that our steering wheel is right side up. And it is. And we'll turn the key back so it locks there. Okay? Now we can see if our shaft lines up. So here's our flat that matches up with our pinch bolt on our splines. Like that. And it doesn't quite match up. It does right there. Let's see where that puts our steering wheel. Well, we might have to give our shaft a little bit of a twist when we're done to fix that problem. So right here is where we want to grind our groove for the pinch bolt. that end. All right, now we can put the spline end on. If you notice, this is a collapsible shaft. See that? And uh, that's because both the TJ and the square body are a frame and body type vehicle, where the XJ is a unibody type vehicle. The XJ has a solid shaft. It's not really uh, extendable because the body isn't independent from a frame. So both the steering box and the body are scared to the same unibody and there's no need for movement there. A square body and also a CJ or a TJ needs to have an extendable shaft because there's movement between the frame and the body. The body is mounted on rubber bushings. If you don't have that movement in the shaft, what'll happen is you'll prematurely wear out the bearing in the bottom of your steering column. The original square body steering shaft has that movement up at that tulip or cup end at the steering column. There we go. We have an actual U-joint shaft now, eliminating the rag joint and also eliminating the tulip. So we have a nice strong steering shaft in the square body now. We'll put our pinch bolts in. I want to make sure that we put some blue Loctite on the pinch bolts uh, because we do not want them coming out at any point in time when we're driving the truck. All right, we're gonna see about getting rid of this too because we don't need that. Okay, now our steering box is still centered and we wanna see where our steering wheel is at because we might have to make an adjustment. Now, we could have made the adjustment in the drag link but that would throw our steering box off center and we wanna get maximum turn in our steering box both directions. So. What I think we're going to do is we're going to heat up the shaft right here and just give it a little twist.
that. Ooh, right on. There we go, a new steering shaft, eliminating the old school rag joint and going to uh, two U-joints. And if you don't have one out of an XJ, well, you know what? With a little modification, you can use one from a TJ. All right, next step in the modifications will be the new power steering pump from PSC, along with the new PSC reservoir and uh, mounting bracket. Uh, but it's late, it's way past dinner time. Abby's getting pretty hungry, so that'll have to be in our next video. Thanks for watching, BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, be safe out there. Maybe we'll see you in the woods.